Get out now. You why leave. You, why you can, bro? Bro, leave. <laughs> Go now. Get out. My guy pretty like a girl and he got fight stories to tell. I see both sides like Chanel. See on both sides like Chanel. What song is that? Are you asking me? I'm asking everyone. Oh. That's I'm going to start episodes from now. I'm just going to sing random lyrics and hope everyone can figure out I the hope, song. I hope, they, I hope they fucking realize who he is. Frank. Mm. Who was the last one that I did? I don't remember the last one you did, bro. Spiling up, just like a rich nigga staircase. Mm-mm. Do, 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 do. <sighs> Niggas say everything about better than they wouldn't the dare say. You know what? Since I want to see you at work in a square space. I know the song, but I can't remember. J. Cole, man. My life. I remember how the thingy went. I know how the cadence goes, or like the tempo goes. Right? Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, I was never getting that. <laughs> I was never getting that. <clears throat> um... Welcome. Welcome, peeps. Um, this is episode 111. I believe so. Sorry. This is episode 111, and your bo- 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 boys, J Money and Young Flaming Fwags. <laughs> Flaming Fwags. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're here to, to serenade your earlobes mm. and your eardrums mm. with, the, with the sweet, mellow bass. Of these rhythm and soul voices, you know the vibes. Um, and guys, before before we get into anything too heavy, um, let's play a game. Oh, hit me! It's gonna wake me up. It's gonna live my live. You're my gonna senses. get angry. Oh my God, best accent game. Oh God, I'm terrible. I know you're. That's why I said you're gonna get angry. <coughs> it's up for the shit. Best accent game. So I choose an accent, then you choose an accent, and we'll go back and forth. God, okay. Yeah? Yeah. So you choose an accent for me and I choose an accent for you, or? Um, we'll, both do, we'll both do all accents. Okay. And then we'll decide equally who we think is better. <clears throat> who we think is better. Okay. And then... Um, they will decide. They'll decide. They'll let us know. They'll let us know, yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. I know I'm going to be terrible at it. First accent. You probably beat me in this one. First accent, Essex. Essex? I know what it sounds like. It doesn't necessarily mean I'll beat you in it. I haven't got an Essex accent. I don't even know what it sounds like. Um, I kind of do. It's kind of like Cockney, right? Kind of, yeah. Um, fuck. The thing... Oh, sorry to No, no, no. Go on, go on. The thing with accents, I feel like I'm more likely to be able to mimic once I hear as opposed to thinking about the accent and then saying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because I know what Essex accent is meant to sound like, but I can't remember if... For me, I can when I think of an accent, it. I always think of one word. Okay. One word. Usually it's the sound, w- what the name of the place sounds like in their accent. And that okay. triggers it for me. Okay. That's a, good, that's a good way to trick your brain. Yeah. That's how I usually <clears> do it. So <throat> like in my head, it would be like, um, like Scottish. 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 Yeah. And then like, did you peel? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Eesh. <laughs> Eek, eek. Liverpool. There's always a trigger word. Yeah. And then like Essex, so what would it be like? Dagenham. 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 Essex. Um, it's more of like, yeah, it's more like a Cockney sound. Like, you white, right, mate? White, white, mate? White, mate? White, mate? White, mate from Dirty Dagenham, innit? <laughs> white, mate? Dirty Dagenham. <laughs> from Dirty Dags. White, mate from Dirty Dagenham, innit? <laughs> no joke. White. White, mate, one bottle of water. Mate, but what have you ever seen on TikTok where they do like um <laughs> where they do like um English accents? Yes. Oh, there's one. It's I saw always on like Twitter. a Cockney or yeah, Southern yeah, accent. Yeah, 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 and yeah, then yeah. they try and read it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, they spell yeah. out what it would sound like in English accent. Yes. So I want a bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> I see one as a I want a bottle of water. <laughs> I want a bottle of water. <laughs> I saw one chick, she's American. She was like, ah, oh, you guys, the British accent is so sexy. I've heard so many people try and fake it and blah, 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 but I'm going to show you what it is. Big man, I saw that one. 
And she goes, one. she goes, she goes, I am right, my painting, yeah. What are you saying? She goes road and she it's does. so Fam, I saw that jokes. one. The brunette, yeah. Yeah, saw she goes, it she goes me. off on it. I saw she it goes sweetened off me. Off on it. All right, cool. But yeah. We'll make it harder. Right. We have to say a certain sentence in that accent. That's perfect. That's okay. perfect. That's perfect. I have to say a certain sentence in that accent. That's right. Perfect. So we've done exit. So yeah, you yeah. choose one. And so, so you choose one and tell me what to say. <sighs> um, okay. German. Oh my God. And you have to say... Fucking hell, that's horrible. Say, hi, my name is James and I'm an alcoholic. Here's <laughs> James. Oh my God, I don't know German accents at all. That's what I'm saying, bro. I have I to say German. To, if I could hear the German accent, right. I should, or I may be able to imitate it a little bit. But then... I'll do, I'll do Arnie. That's German, right? Or Austrian. Austrian. Same shit. But it's, it's, it's somewhat... <laughs> <laughs> That's Arnie. I'm James. Hi. Hi. I'm James. And I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> oh my day. All right. You go now. Same thing. I'm feeling I'm, alco- I'm an alcoholic. <sighs> Hi. I'm Fuhad. I didn't know what to say. I'm Fuhad. That's from Burbs. <laughs> Hi, I'm Fuhad. <laughs> and I'm an alcoholic, yeah. <laughs> That's the yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'm an alcoholic, yeah. Okay, it ended better than it started. <laughs> I'm Fuhad. <laughs> All right, sweet. Right, fuck it. Let hell, me go. Um, I'll make it easier. We'll mm. go Liverpool. Okay. And you have to say. Um, <clears throat> I like licking lovely lollipops. <laughs> oh, that's... I like licking lovely lollipops. What is that? I like what? I like licking... I like licking lovely lollipops. Lovely lollipops. I like licking fucking locking lollipops. <laughs> fucking... I like licking fucking <laughs> lovely lollipops. I cut terrible, bro. <laughs> Eek. Eek. If you peel, I like. Okay. <clears throat> Eek. I like. Uh, you know. I like you, licking lovely lollipops. You know. You, you know. You know. You know. I like of, licking um, uh, lovely lollipops. Fuck. The you know is so. You know? Um, oh, what's his name? Jamie Carragher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, you know. He says you know all the time. You know. You know. Um, you know. You know. I like licking <laughs> lovely fucking fucking lolly lollipops. Lovely fucking lollipops. You slag. <laughs> You fucking tart. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Your turn. I say, oh no, country, Australia. Oh, fuck me. You're kidding yeah, me with this country. De- you're actually pretty decent in Australia. You've done a couple of Australian accents before. Um, Australia and say, um, she sold seashells on the seashore. Fucking hell. <laughs> All right. Australia. I'm from Australia. G'day. G'day, you little river. I'm from Australia, and she sells fucking she she sells fucking seashells on the fucking seashore. <laughs> nah, <laughs> that's hilarious. That is fucking hilarious. Oh my days. Oh, all right, same thing. Go. You got this, G. <clears throat> Australia. I'm warm, bro. I need to open a window. I'm warm. <laughs> <clears throat> My throat is hoarse. Australia. Good eye, mate. Good eye, mate. Australia. Just trying to breathe in the Get Australian the, air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Australia. Good that eye, New mate. South Wales, that that you got it. You got it. That Adelaide. <laughs> you got that Adelaide. Where, where what's that spot? Bolo one go. What? There's a spot called like Bollywog or Bolo one go. Really? I'm sure there's a spot in Australia called like Bolly Wong or Golly Wong or something like that. I've never heard fucking hope not. <laughs> Not goy wog. <laughs> it's like bolo wog or something, something stupid like that. I don't know. Um, what did I say to say? Oh, she sells seashells yeah, 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 on yeah. the seashore. <clears throat> Australia, Australia. Good eye, mate. Good eye, mate. Fucking, um, she sells fucking uh, seashells on the fucking seashore, mate. <laughs> Gang. All right, cool. Um, next accent. <clears throat> mm, 
Let's go for French. Okay. <clears throat> Saying. Saying, don't touch me on the bottom. French. 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 Français. Français. Don't touch me on the bottom. Don't touch me on the bottom. Doesn't really give off the doesn't, throat. <laughs> doesn't, 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 doesn't do the Français. 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 Um, uh, Fouad. Uh, uh, <laughs> Fouad. <laughs> Um, James uh, France, France, France Okay <clears throat> Don't uh, Don't touch me on the bottom <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> Wow, that was good That was really good That sounded like nonsense to me Fam, that was really good I don't think I'm going to be able to do it <laughs> Okay Don't Go touch me on the bottom uh, Francais Fran- <laughs> Francais <laughs> James Fouad <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, I'm thirsty, bro. avec moi ce soir? Voulez-vous avec moi ce soir? Voulez-vous avec moi ce soir? I don't touch a français. I don't touch me on the bottom. <laughs> I don't touch me on the bottom. I don't touch. Don't touch me on the bottom. <laughs> A man had to remind himself. I had to pick it. Ah! I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Don't touch a français. <laughs> That's hilarious, brother. Oh, bruv. All right, cool. That's French. Your turn, your turn, your turn. Oh, okay. We'll, let's do, one, go. we'll do two more each. All right, gang. Um, let's go. Let's go like Southern American, like Jesus Texas. Jesus Christ. And let's go. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. Oh, fuck me. Texas. Not necessarily. Okay, Southern America. All right, it's cool. It's cool. <clears throat> Southern America. Like, right. I'm from Austin, Texas. Louisiana. From Louisiana down to, down to Bayou. I'm from Louisiana. I'm from down to Bayou and I like some gumbo. And I like big butts. And brother, I can't deny. <laughs> you went into character. I like it. I like it. You went into character. Because I was okay, thinking, okay, okay. I don't even know how I'm going to start this. Um, as soon as you said Louisiana, I was like, yeah, you're there. You're there. You're there. <laughs> Just keep going. You're there. You're Bro, there. I have to say the name of the place. <laughs> um, Louisiana. Um, goddamn. Louisiana. Um, Texas. Texas. Louisiana. Um, goddamn it. I like big butts. And I cannot lie. You are the brothers. Can't deny. Bro, <laughs> you sounded like a, uh, like two steps off on Obama. <laughs> I just heard it now that you said it. I like big, big butts. And I cannot lie. And I cannot lie. <laughs> you, uh, you are the, you are the brothers. brothers. <laughs> you can't deny. Can't deny. <laughs> All right, cool. Right. <clears throat> Let's go with... That was, um, that was poor from me. I didn't like that one. Yeah, it was cool. <clears throat> Let's go with... I'm trying to think. I didn't know what fucking countries there are out there, man. <sighs> Yardi. Okay, yeah. Um, <clears throat> this is going to reflect poorly on me. This is going to reflect poorly on me because you'll beat me on this one. I can't do Yardi accent to save my life. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the sentence, brother. All right, cool. Why'd you take so long to get the chicken? Who are the bomba? Yard. <laughs> well, hold on, fam. I'm laughing because you, you were doing it and I, I realised... I saw the point where you realise what you're about to have to do uh, and you're thinking like, like, like just this side of your mouth went <laughs> thinking fuck. <laughs> uh, Why did you take so long to get the chicken? Yeah. <sighs> All right. <sighs> fuck, I hate that. I'm going first. Jamiak. I'm here from Jamiak. <laughs> Cucumba. Cucumba. I'm here from Jamaica. Jamaica. Um, are you a rude boy? Oh, why it takes so long to get me bomba clark chicken? Fam! I'm surprised! <laughs> that was good! Fair enough. That was good! Fair enough, I appreciate that. Fuck! I'm vexed now! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. What is that? Why it takes so long to get chicken? Hey, oh my brother. Oh, why it takes so long to get chicken, huh? <laughs> hey, yo, my brother. Hey, oh my brother. Hey, yo, my. Hey, yo, my youth. <laughs> Oh my, oh, oh, my why it takes so long to get chicken, huh? Why it takes so long to get me fucking chicken, huh? 
<laughs> Bomber clout chicken. No? All right, all right, all right. Cool. Your turn. Your turn. This is your last one, and I got one more. I think. Okay, we'll go Italian. For sake, Fuad. I don't know what it sounds like. <laughs> it. <laughs> go on then. <laughs> I don't know what that sounds like. We'll go Italian, and we'll go. Why would you snap the spaghetti in two? It needs to stay straight. Okay. Cool. That's like there's a TikTok about that, isn't it? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a guy that's going. Off, Jesus. Man, right. Italiano, eh? A bit, 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 a that was good. That was good. That was actually good. All right, cool. Um, Italiano, Italiano, Italiano. James, oh, why you snap the uh, spaghetti in two? It's neat. Oh, terrible. Terrible. That was all right. No, no, you no, weren't no, too no, far no, off. No, no, no. no. <clears throat> nah, I lost it there. <laughs> I lost it there. <laughs> Italiano, Italiano. Uh, ciao, James. Why you uh, snap the spaghetti in two? It has to stay straight. That wasn't bad. Average. That wasn't bad. That mm, wasn't no no, no no no. Don't beat yourself up. Mm. It wasn't bad. Don't beat mm. yourself up. That mm. wasn't bad at all. <clears throat> I think that was, mine was too emphasized. Mine was too cartoonish. Mm. He said, "Ciao, James." <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Influenced, right? Um, to finish off, let's go with <laughs> Mexican. No no no. We'll go Japanese. Okay, you go Japanese. <clears throat> yeah, and you have to say. You bring dishonor. You bring dishonor with this shit. You bring dishonor with this shit. Japanese. Japanese. You bring dishonor with this shit. With this shit. You bring dishonor with this shit. Japanese. Japanese. Okay. Arigato gozaimasu. James. You bring this honor to this shit? <laughs> James? You bring this honor with this shit? <laughs> <laughs> that was shocking. Oh, I didn't even know if that was Japanese. That's, that's sure, hilarious. I'm sure that was far from. <laughs> I'm sure that was um, far from. Wow. Um, I, I've heard better, but that oh, was no, all right. No, what was it you meant? James? <laughs> James? All right. Who had the dinner? Nani? Nani, Fuad, <laughs> you bring this on our witty shit. <laughs> I like the way you went with that. You went with an older man, <laughs> slow paced. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. All right, cool, gang. All right. Fucking hell. Guys, welcome, welcome to the episode. To the episode. <laughs> if you're not a buyer already, <coughs> patreon.com Jesus. forward slash shits and, shits and gigs. Head on over there. Catches every Thursday, talking up the most. Yeah. Um, if you're still with us, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've no idea how long that took. <laughs> we but, were literally um, shit. But yeah, <sighs> jump on over to Patreon. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you bump into that like button and you give that subscribe a little. Nope. Um, turn on your notifications, please. And uh, make a couple friends in the comments, mm. if you must. Um, or enemies. Let's see some fights. No one ever fights in the comments. I want to see a scrap. I want to see people go blow for blow. <laughs> they do more on TikTok. Oh they God, TikTok. in TikTok, TikTok they go they, for they it. Scrap on it, bro. I've seen I've seen some of our TikToks with like hundred and thirty replies. <laughs> <laughs> bro, ridiculous. It's silly. The back to backs are silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, cool. So yeah, um, run on over to our Instagram. Run on over to our Twitter. If you're listening to this um, audibly. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get those automatic downloads. Yes, Guys, help us with the algorithm any way you can. Please, we'd be much appreciated. And as always, message us, comment, whatever you need to do. Email us uh, to send in your Am I the Arseholds. Yeah, or if you just want a little bit of advice or you just want our opinion on whatever or something that... Uh, we're going to just start doing reaction <clears throat> vids, actually. So this is uh, breaking news. Um, high demand. High demand. Two Two bits of news, actually, on high demand. First of all, we are going to be um, doing some reaction vids in the near future as um, that's been requested a lot. Um, and secondly, 
our other thing that's been requested a lot has been a Spotify playlist. Yes, I remember you talking to me about that. Spotify playlist. So we're going to be yes, doing yes, those two yes, in the yes, near yes, future. Yes, so yes. keep an eye out for those. I just want to stop for a second and talk about Manscaped. You already know. You already know. You want to hear this? <laughs> you want to hear this? Uh... Then you need Manscaped. <laughs> you need the smooth, buttery goodness yeah, of well-shaven pubes. And you don't want any nicks. You don't want no scars. Yeah. <clears throat> You want your scrote ready, fam. And the only way you're going to get that is through the 4.0 generation. You can go through the lawnmower 4.0. You can go through the performance package 4.0. You can go through all of the 4.0s. As long as there's a 4, a point, and an O, you're on the right track. <laughs> so I said you should go for the performance package. They sent us our performance package the other day. Mm. And you wouldn't believe what's involved. You pop open the thing like this. It's got it's got a little rippy rippity dip. Then you go brrr, wrap it like that, and then as you open it, it pops out. And just like on, um, just like on Pulp Fiction, where they open the box and just gold, gold, exactly. Bro. That's exactly. Gold. I'm not even joking this time. That's exactly what the Manscaped box does. I'm not even playing. Anyone who's got it can vouch. When you open a thing, shines gold. gold. <laughs> Bro, you got your crop preservers, your ball toners, big man. You got your your, your lawnmower 4.0 just 4. chilling there, ready to be gripped. <laughs> ready. Uh, yeah. Bro, and then you got your boxes just folded. They they, they, they they feel like Egyptian silk. And when you slap them on, when you when you get your freshly shaven, yeah, yeah, you yeah, put yeah. your ball toner on. And your deodorant, and you, you wiggle your batty in it, and you hear that. Whoosh. You know you're ready to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're ready to clap. You're ready to clap. <laughs> so, guys, if you want to get involved, and you live anywhere on planet Earth, then the code is SNG, Sierra November Golf. It's code SNG at manscaped.com. And if you want free shipping, you slap in that SNG. If you want 20% off as well, some people don't want 20% off, but if you do, slap in that SNG. Gang. Manscaped.com, SNG, 20% off, free shipping worldwide, performance package 4.0. Let's get it. Let's. Back to the episode. Come on. Um, any more housekeeping notes? I don't know. I don't think so. Just stay locked in. Thank you for keep rocking with us, really. Mm. That's about it. Thank you as always. <coughs> and without further ado, we have uh, fa fa The fa fa The fa 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 um, today's fun fact actually isn't fun. It's just a fact. Okay. It's just a fact, bro. All right, go for I read it the other day. I was like, wow. Okay. Right, this is the headline. California dad murdered his toddlers in front of... In, he's, start again. California dad murdered his toddler infant over fears that he has the serpent's DNA. As Wait. in Satan, the serpent. Fam? All right, sorry, go. I know you've got questions. Sorry, I'll let you finish. That's a vague heading. <clears throat> a Californian man, influenced by QAnon and Illuminati conspiracy theories, confessed to killing his two young children with a spear fishing gun in Mexico because they inherited the, sp- the serpent DNA from his wife and were growing. they were going to grow into monsters. His name is Matthew Taylor Coleman. He's 40 years old. He made the statement, yeah, he made the statements to federal investigators after being arrested at the border in the wake of, a, of Monday's double filicide court documentary. I don't even know what filicide is. Maybe like a young homicide. Yeah, I'm assuming like paedophile, mm. filicide. Sounds like probably something to do with kids. Kids, yeah, maybe. <clears throat> Coleman was reported missing by his wife on August the 7th after he left his Santa Barbara home with his 10-month-old daughter, 10-month-old daughter and 2-years-old son without a car seat for the infant and took them to Rosarito according to the documents. He allegedly shot them dead through their chest with a spear gun and was arrested by customs and border patrol as he tried to re-enter the US only 2 days later. The border the border cops observed what appeared to be blood on his paperwork in a vehicle. And the Mexican police found the young bodies matching the description of Coleman's kids in a ditch, according to the documents. The suspect waived his Miranda rights and told the feds he believed his children were going to grow up to be monsters, so he had to kill them. He was charged with foreign murder of U.S. nationals 
and was slated to appear in the LA court um, Wednesday. And this was only on August the 11th. So this was a few weeks ago. This is a real thing that happened a this few weeks ago. You mean something this didn't <clears throat> happen in 1985? No, this happened a few weeks ago, brother, this year. To be fair, it said it's influenced by QAnon. So obviously it didn't happen back then, but wow. A spear fishing gun, bro. A two-year-old and a 10-month-old baby. Brethren. How did he lose his mind so much? I fam, these are the only details I've got. That's why I said it's not a fun fact. It's just a fact. Big man. It's just a fact. It reminded when I read that because obviously I read it a couple of days ago, and I was going to say it on here, but it reminded me of that um, show I told you about that I watched on Netflix, where um, he killed his wife and two kids, and they were coming back from. A, she came back from a holiday. The friend was trying to find the wife. Knocking on the door, blah, blah. And he came back from work very oblivious, saying, oh, where's my wife? And he threw the kids kids in the oil drum. He threw the kids in the oil drum. It reminded me of that. It reminded me of that. How do people live their whole life normal, manage to have a family, a house, a job, a wife, a car, and then lose their shit so much that they kill their own kids with a spear fishing gun? Spear fish. I can't In Mexico. I can't even imagine the velocity at which that travel hit. That would have propelled into their chest. Bro, both it's, of them. Did, did, I hope he had more than one arrow. Fam? I hope he had more than fam? one arrow. Because, and then man, I turn, and, and then again. No, 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 no. He's lost his, how did he lose it so much? I don't know. How? I don't know. Because that's not, fam, on top of that, let me show you the picture that they used to explain this thing. Obviously, you know, to put like cover photos and stuff. That's his cover photo. That's a normal family, my G. Oh, for Christ's sake. For Christ's sake. Wild, right? I need Um, to know what happened. For the audio listeners, it's just him, his wife, and two kids smiling at the camera. And they look like they're on a ski and tram. They look like they're on holiday having the greatest time. That's literally the photo they use for the caption of this this story. Oh, man. It was posted by the New York Post as well. Crazy, right? That's ridiculous. Crazy. Imagine witnessing that. No. Imagine being, all right, imagine being in Mexico. You're, you, for some reason, you're on the border or like close to the border where in some deserted area. I don't know. Tijuana. I don't know where that is, where I'm always around there. You're, you're driving, you're actually like, you're a farmer or something. You're in the woods. You're in this, this t- terrain. You're chilling now. You're doing your work. You're doing whatever you want to do. All you hear is, pfft. but you're, you're, you familiarize yourself with that sound, but you know there's no sea or water around you. So why am I hearing a spear fishing gun thing? You hear it again. Pfft. Fam, you just like, you search around and you can see a man dragging the spear fishing gun back. And you're like, what's going on? And you see him dip. What do you do? Obviously, because he left the utes there. So I can see the corpses there. Oh, oh, you mean, do I go over there or just I'm get asking, on with my no, day? No, no, I'm asking you, what do you do? You've not seen the corpses, but you hear the gun. You're suspicious, but you hear it again. And then I see him drive off. You see him peel off. You don't see him peel off, but you see a car peel off. And I know the spear fishing you gun. You know that spear fishing, gun, spear fishing gun, and you know there's no water around you. Cool. I'm definitely going over there. Okay. 100% I'm going over there. Um, and then I'll probably bring my gun. I'll probably bring my gun just in case. So he might have been... He bit, said I'll probably bring my gun knowing for well he's already got a gun in Mexico. That's jokes. Continue. 100% yeah, yeah. If I live in one, I've got guns. Um, I'll probably yeah. bring my gun because mm. I think he might have been one of the good guys. He might have been mm. shooting like El Chupacabra or something like that. He might have been shooting something bad. True, you know, so you I'll bring my gun know. over yeah, there see yeah, what I've yeah, got yeah, 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 I yeah. have a look. If I see two babies dead on the floor and my mouth's peeled off, one million percent, bro. I'm sprinting to my pickup truck. Mm. I'm, sp- and I'm I need to follow him. Mm. I need to catch up and I mm. need to follow him because he's done for. Hundred mm. percent. I couldn't see that. Kids, kids, couldn't see that. Couldn't see that. Speaking of, mm. I've got a story for you. Mm. It's a regurgitated story. Nothing to do with me. Okay, but I've got a story that mm. happened to um, a guy on a pod that runs a pod that I listen to. Okay, so. This guy, mm-hmm. check this shit out. This guy was driving down the... Um, this happened like two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. This guy was driving... So it basically, like I said, it's one of the hosts of a podcast that I like to listen to. Mm-hmm. He was basically driving down the road with his missus one day. Mm-hmm. Um, and he saw like 
kind of like a like a crash. He's seen an accident on the side of the road. Okay. And he was just going to drive past it. And typically he would drive past it mm-hmm. as most people would. Sorry to cut you off. Where's his base so I can like pitch it? So it's in America. Okay. <clears throat> uh, in just uh, in LA. Okay. So he's in LA. He's driving down the highway. Mm-hmm. Sees a car has crashed into like a lorry. Okay. A big truck. And... Um, like on oncoming traffic kind of thing or like back oncoming to... Oncoming traffic. Okay, like this. So yeah. like um, he's seen... Um, I think... I'm assuming, so say he's going this way. Mm-hmm. See, if he's facing forward, mm-hmm. the truck is facing forward and the car Cars, is facing yeah, yeah, against yeah, okay. it. So it's nose to nose, yeah, right? I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as he's driving past, he's looked and he can see like a five-year-old kid. So the car's like, um, yeah, the car's like they're normal, crushed. And he can see a five-year-old kid on the roof going like this to traffic. So my man says, what? Pulls up. And his girlfriend's like, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Get back in the car. And Mazan, like, that's it. There's a Ute jumping yeah, on a car. Yeah. By himself. Yeah. Runs over there, says to the Ute, Welcome on, what's going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he says, My brothers are inside. He looks inside, and there's a two year old and a four year old in the car, strapped into the car. They can't get out. So Jesus. he has to bust through the window. This is in the this is on like a dual carriage or something. Yeah. He has to bust through the window and he can see there's gas leaking out of the car. Um, and he said, actually, just as he was running towards the Ute that was going like this, mm. he saw a man running across the highway on the other side who got hit by a car, but then like got up and kept and running. Kept running away. So he said, what the fuck? Yeah. Prior to him seeing the crash. No, or he's seen the crash as, now. Okay, okay. As he's pulled up. Yes, 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 yes. Got out of the car because he's seen this. He oh looks to the other God. side and sees a man running off. Oh my God. The man gets hit by a car. Gets up and like limps off and keeps running off. Oh my so he looks God. at my man. He's seen the Ute going like this. Mm. He looks at my man, seen him get hit by a car and run off and says, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Runs off, says, my brothers are inside. Yeah. Smashes the window, drags the kids and he's, the truck driver's helping them as well. Okay. Starts dragging one of the kids out, goes to grab the other kid and the other kid's like, mommy, 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 mommy. So he's like, what's going on? And he's like, he says to the truck driver, is there anyone else in the car? He says, yeah, I think there's someone in the front. He looks in the front. The mom's dead. Her brain splattered all over the dashboard. That one's dead. And the kids don't know. The kids in the back, they don't know the mom's dead. So he has to like cover the kid's eyes and shit to get them out. And he says to the truck driver, like put a blanket over the mom or something. The kids can't see that. Um, Fuck, man. So now we've got like a six or four year and two year old. Um, So we saved their life, everything like that. Went into the, deeper details found out from the police like what happened and stuff like that mm. apparently the um the dad was the man that was running across mm. the road because as soon as you said that, i think maybe it's the truck driver mm. i assumed it was the truck driver off the it's bat the dad wow the apparently the dad <clears throat> got the whole family in the car one day got them on the road um on a drive and was like we're all going to heaven today the whole family's going to heaven today and he tried to kill the whole family. Drove into the truck on purpose. Went on, on like oncoming, drove into oncoming traffic and tried to kill the whole family. And the only person he killed was his wife. <coughs> Fuck. <clears throat> Bro. Fuck. How crazy is that? That's insane. What goes through people's minds, man? Bro, people are off, the, off their head. Kids, bro. Three. Three little kids. <laughs> why, don't, why don't people just talk shit out? Why don't, if you want to, if you want to dup yourself. Fam, if you want to die, go and die. Dup yourself. Go away. Why are you trying to ruin everything for everyone? Man's ruined families now. Bro, I just don't understand the human psyche to the point where you can be cognizant enough to, like I said, have a house, have a job, have a family, have everything going normal for you. But you're so cracked that you're like, oh, on Saturday, I'm going to get the whole family in the car and I'm going to kill us all. I'm definitely going to do that. And you have that in your head. You're that crack that you have that in your head, but you can run your life normal for the rest of it. And you actually do it. You actually get everyone in and say, bro, we're all dying today, just so you know. And you actually go through with it. Psychologically, I, bro, it doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know how that's a thing. Family, I promise you, if I'm in a passy and my message is saying, oh, we're all going to heaven today. <laughs> I'm... I'm- I'm either yanking the steroid or yanking the handbrake. Oh, handbrake's going up straight away. Because I don't know what you're talking about. You're probably <laughs> going to get a box in the mouth as well because you're chatting shit. <laughs> Bro. You're chatting shit. You can't kill me and the youths. If I'm sitting there 
If I'm sitting there and I'm hearing, and we're on the road, we're driving, and then I'm hearing, okay, cool, role play. It's me and you, mm -hmm. we're in a gay relationship. Mm -hmm. We've got three adopted youths mm -hmm. from Nicaragua in the back. Six, four, and two. You're such an idiot, but yeah. You're tapped. <laughs> of course it's me. Of course it's You're me. You're tapped. Yeah. And you get us all in the car and say, let's go for a Sunday drive. Yeah. The re you already know the rest of the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll play it off and see how it goes, right? Yeah. Action. Right. <clears throat> Action. James, grab the kids. Let's get in the car, man. Um, Sunday roast, usual spot. You know how I like it. We'll mm. go there. You know, I thought I'd treat the family today. Treating. You know? <laughs> Thought I'd treat the family today. Grab the Utes. Let's go. What are you saying? Gang. Gang? Cool, man. Treat. Cool, I love cool, a Sunday cool. treat. <laughs> I know, I know. Might earn yourself a little Sunday treat. <laughs> <laughs> Gang. So we grab All Chris, right. Kyle, and Caleb. Get them Chris, in the car. Kyle, Caleb. Get them in the car. Guys, come on. Get in the car. Get in the car. Vaminos. <laughs> vamos, 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 vamos. Chris, yeah, get yeah, in. Yeah. Vamos, vamos. Cool. Right, we're all in. We're all in. Strap yourselves in, kids. We're going for a Sunday roast. Sunday roast. Sunday roast. Sunday roast. Sunday roast. Right. Let's go. Speeding on the highway now, cruising, cruising, cruising. Let's <sighs> music's playing. Mm. It's five in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty riggy riggy in the back. <laughs> everyone's just living life. Damn, everyone's everyone's just... lavish. Let's you go. You don't even know what I got there. The fucking um the, the little car, the car seats. seats just like <laughs> in the car seat. What was that? A spider. Kill the fly. <laughs> Carsey is just chilling, having a good time. Gang. Cool. Oncoming, well, driving now, driving now. Chilling, chilling, chilling. I just turn and look at you. Don't look at me like that, first and foremost. <laughs> James? Mm -hmm. Babes? Mm -hmm. I think we're all going to heaven today. Oh, like metaphorically, because the, the roast is going to be so good. Um, I mean, that would have been nice, but that's not what I mean. Bubba, that's not what I mean. What do you mean? I'm taking us all out. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> I'm taking Car us all speeding up. <laughs> I'm taking us all out. Who's us? Me, you, Chris, Caleb, and the other one. <laughs> I'm taking us all out. Why? I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough of all of you. Are you fucking serious? Oh, I'm hundred serious. One hunter. I've had enough. This I've had enough. Of what? You, the kids, the lies, the, lies. the late nights, <laughs> the stress. <laughs> I've had enough. I've been trying to talk to you for months, James. You don't want to listen to me. I've had enough. Big man, I can't hear you because your head's all the way up your own fucking ass. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Swear? Swear. Scream! <laughs> <laughs> Kids are like, daddies! Daddies! Your mum! Your mum! <laughs> Give me the fucking steel. Your fucking mum! <laughs> Get off! Give me the fucking slag! <laughs> Bro? Fam? I'm yanking it. I'm yanking a handbrake. I'm yanking it. As soon as we come to a stop, Vaseline. Babe, Vaseline. <laughs> square up. <laughs> you want to see heaven so bad? Get a fuck out of the car. <laughs> you want to see heaven? I'm clicking my nails off. You want to see heaven? Get a fuck Get out of the car. Get a fuck out of the car. <laughs> and I ain't talking about the barn either. Fam? Fucking hell. I couldn't. That screw? <laughs> I couldn't fake. I actually felt the fear in my chest. I felt the fear in my chest. That's real life G force. Bro. I couldn't. I couldn't firm that, bro. Nah. Man went into a truck, bro. Imagine being the <coughs> truck driver. Imagine it was Trucker Dave. Probably was Trucker Dave. Jesus. The truck. All oh. his livestock got murked that day. Livestock. <laughs> Man couldn't do no trades on the border whatsoever. He was livid. <clears throat> wow smack bang into a truck wow everyone survived fine except for the mum that's see that shit like that man the one that cared about them <sighs> shit no, like that no it, one it drives me insane man. same g it drives me insane kill your bro. damn self kill your damn self man 
So now the three youths have to live with the fact that they're probably never going to see the most. They're hundred percent never going to see their pops again. One million percent never going to see their mum again, and the two younger kids probably have no recollection of what happened. Whereas the older kid that was on thing, was yeah, like, he knows. He knows what happened, but he doesn't know what. They're going to grow up and find out. That's <clears throat> trauma, man. Yeah. So I think um, what my man did. Obviously, Fuck. he's got a lot of pee and a lot of influence. Fuck, man. They had a GoFundMe. Yeah. For the mum's funeral. And there was 30 grand yeah. that they were trying to raise. Mm. And from the support that my man got from mention on the pod, mm. they got like 70, 80 grand. Okay. And then he's going to try and do, he's a stand-up comedian, so he's, I think he's going to try and do some shows. Charity shows and stuff. And yeah. charity shows and obviously Give dedicate money, all the money yeah. to the kids. So obviously growing up, they'll be looked after. And college, Fuck, all this man. stuff, can, they, they can start to pattern. Like, what are the odds? Shit. What are the odds of someone like him? See, but then again, you said it was on like a motorway kind of thing. Mm, I'm mm, surprised like only a couple people. Well, he said after everything was said and done, mm. he looked back, there was bare people outside their cars, mm. but they're all like, is there anything we can do? Like what's going mm. on? No one and he was like, action. big man, you're 10 minutes. Yeah. You, 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 what do you mean? Is there anything yeah. you can do? And there must have been bare people that drove past. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> man. That's what I mean about the episode a little while ago. Which when I was talking about the, 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 the missus that um, killed herself in my apartment block. Yes, yes, it's yes, like, yes, yes, yes. It sucks, but there's just not enough people that are like, mm-hmm. like see something. Like a fight or flight. Yeah, like they see yeah. something odd. We see <clears throat> so many like crazy, you see so many car crashes every day mm-hmm. and stuff like that. It's just, it's weird that you like, so many people will just drive past mm-hmm. and just see. I, I personally don't think I would drive past if I saw a you mm-hmm. like this. And there's only ever been one time in my life where I've seen a car crash mm-hmm. and thought, nah. And it was actually in Manny. I swear. Yeah, yeah. Um, was it whilst I was living in? Yeah, yeah. I, I, we'd record it. It was while we were doing the pod. We'd finish recording. No way. I was driving home um, in the evening. Mm. And uh, as I'm driving home, I saw a car had smashed into like a bollard. So the bo- it was like wrapped around the bollard. And Damn. cars were just driving past. There was no police car next to it. Nothing. It was literally wrapped around this bollard. And I drove past it the first time and I just saw everyone acting normal and I could see it there. And I was like, nah, I couldn't see if anyone was in it or not. And I was like, it would have been dark, innit? Yeah. yeah. And I was thinking, bro, why is there no police cars? Why is there nothing here? If like, does anyone know that this is a thing? Like, is there someone like fucked in there? So I did spin round. I went round and came back again and then like pulled up next to it and there was no one in there and there's no one even anywhere near it. So okay. I was like, well, okay, fair enough. And I just fucked off and left it. Fair but play, man. Good thing you That's did. the only time where I thought like, big man, I need to do something. Mm. Um, but like I said, in that situation, no one else stopped. Any other situation where I've seen a crash car, I just drive, fam. Mm. It's just a normal thing that you see yeah, every day. Yeah. So literally, yeah, if he didn't look, because he said he looked and saw it and just kept driving. And then he looked when he looked again, that's when he saw the ute on top of the car. Bro. And then saw the Maya man getting hit by the other car. And only once, yeah, once he'd only pulled over, he saw the Maya man getting hit by another car and then fucking off into the distance. <sighs> Crazy. All to heaven today. <clears throat> How does he know that that's what they said? Um, the This is way after. This is days after. Okay. So they've had interviews and they probably interviewed the kids and okay. everything like that. So okay. um, apparently there's a lot of domestic violence in the house. They've okay. interviewed the like the aunties and okay. all this stuff. So they know about the history of like the dad. They know obviously what, like the domestic violence. And I'm assuming one of the kids mm. said that when they got in the car, daddy said that we're all it's going to heaven today. Yeah. Mm. I'm assuming that's what happened. Wow. Do you know whether the guy got caught or anything? No idea. And this was when? Recently? Recently. Like, uh, like a week ago. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? Bro. What's going on? What's been going on? True. What has been going on? Stuff like this has been happening forever. This wild man. I wonder what the tipper point is for some people. Same. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to obviously be in that mental state, but I wonder what it is because I don't know how you can be so sane to be so insane in like a matter of a day, bro. That's some. That's very scary, bro. Terrifying, bro. Imagine just snapping like that. I couldn't. I honestly <clears throat> couldn't. I, I don't think I'm bothered. capable of it. Yeah, fam. I, I can't genuinely don't bothered. think I'm capable of that. I ain't got the energy for that. 100%. To orchestrate that. Yeah, that's um. That's um, but yeah, that's I'm nuts, speechless. bro. I'm speechless. Yeah, he's going to hell there. I don't know where he thought he was going. Heaven. Yeah, he got it fucked up. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, you're you're burning. gonna burn. You're burning. You're brother. gonna be sucking Satan's tool forever. <laughs> you're burning, brother. Wow. 
that's oh, not cool. Oh, Jesus that's Christ. Okay. Yeah, fam. It's, it's long. Fuck. Um, but anyway, I have a, uh, like a dilemma. That I would like to read. Hit me. I feel like we haven't done one of these in a minute. Okay, so man said, hello. Me and my girl love the podcast. Brackets. I fully got her hooked on it. Plug in yourself. <laughs> I actually had a dilemma I wanted to ask you guys. Me and my girl are planning on going to the same uni. T- oh, God. All right, cool. Right. This is aimed at you again. Me and my okay. girl are planning <clears throat> on going to the same uni together. Yeah. But I don't know how to tell my parents as we're planning on living together to save money. Mm-hmm. She doesn't really have to worry about talking to her parents as she's older and has her own yard now. Mm-hmm. My problem is my dad. Um, My problem is my dad mainly as he's Nigerian. Mm-hmm. My mum is Spanish and is a bit more laid back, but still was a bit wary with uh, the whole what if you break up situation. Mm-hmm. With my dad being Nigerian, I'm scared of even telling him given the reaction he might give me. And once he sets his mind on it, I know he won't even consider it. <laughs> you man are stubborn, fam. Fucking stubborn. So what should I do? Should I go and not tell them or tell them and deal with the outcome? I mean, I'm, so he's going to uni. Mm-hmm. He wants to live with his girl yep. to save P. Yep. And he's scared to tell his rents. Yep. Long story short. Long story short. He's scared to tell his parents uh, because, yeah. His dad's Nigerian, and once he tells his dad, he knows he's going to get it in his head and just refuse it off the bat. I mean, I'm a well, so, and he said she's older and she's got her own spot already. She's got her own spot. She's a bit older, so she doesn't have to worry about telling her parents. Mm, okay, I understand where he thinks his mindset is, mm-hmm. but I also understand that his parents are probably right. In the sense that the mum said, um, the mum said, oh, what if you what break, if you break up? up? Yeah, yeah. Very understandable. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm assuming going to uni, he's 18. I'm just going to assume. Um, you're living with someone, especially a partner at such a young age, which I've never done. Sounds like a mistake to me, especially in uni. Sounds like a big mistake to me. Um, but then in the sense of your pops, him being stubborn and things. I think the reason why he's more stubborn is because he's straight to the fucking point. Your, your mum's clearly dilly dallying about the thing. Oh, maybe this. Oh, but, but, you know. But I think and ultimately both parents are right. Like I don't think that's a. I don't think it's the best idea. It might be a great idea financially, but I think in the long term it's it's going to end in tears, bro. I think it's terrible. Cool. You do realize he didn't ask if we thought it was a good idea or not. He asked how he's going to deal with his parents. Very valid. <laughs> Man's doing it anyway. <laughs> he's doing it regardless. Okay. How is he going to tell his parents? Man, he's, he's gonna, clearly going to have to... He's obviously going to do it and then tell his parents after. I think that's, that's the only option. He's going to do it and then tell his parents after. But how is he going to tell him? Fam? It's, you know one of them ones where you know you're in trouble? And like, I've, I've gotten... Back in the day, like secondary school, like primary school, you get like report cards and shit when you fail stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remember it had to get signed to make sure your parents are aware that you're, you big man, you've been failing. I don't want yeah, your parents yeah, to know you've yeah, been failing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what I did was I think I cut up the top part that explained everything. It had a signature thing at the bottom and a date. And I was like, oh, Pops, this is a, this is a, um, this is a slip you have to sign for a trip that I don't want to go to. So you have to sign it if you don't want to go on a trip. He signed it. Don't know how I patterned that lie. Fam, nev- I don't know how you patterned that lie. It never got clocked and I, get, I went back into school, gave them the ting. So with it cut up? With it cut up. Fam? <laughs> I don't know. I, do, I can't remember the repercussions, but yeah. I remember that that's what I did. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. probably going to have to be one of them things where you're going to have to orchestrate some form of big man. I'm go- Guys, I'm going to uni. I'm living in this block in halls or whatever. And if they say, oh, they want to come try and visit, you have to pattern a fake yard ting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to pat in a fake a yard. Fake, I don't know. You're, you're going to have, obviously, make friends, explain the situation to one of your boys that you um, that you eventually meet in uni and be like, boom, in a couple of months' time, my parents are going to come through. I need you to 
sell this yard to them like it's ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's yeah, yeah. ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. they can never find out I'm staying with Shanice. Yeah, yeah, yeah They yeah, can't yeah. find out. <laughs> they can't find out for the love of God, I'll be chucked out. They can't find out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Yeah, yeah. You know what's wild to me? What's wild to me is that <laughs> parents, like, I, I'm i fortunate that I never, I never grew up with that, mm-hmm. that level of threat. <laughs> Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like when I, w- obviously once I reached a certain age, like obviously I wasn't a bad kid. Mm. So I never had to deal with, when I was young, young, I never had to deal with any of that. Yeah. And when I got older, again, really, I never had to deal with any of a, I want to do this. With my parents, it was more like, if you want to do it, do it. Mm-hmm. You could do it. Like whatever the repercussions, if mm-hmm. I said like, like even when I told my mom and dad, like, oh, I'm going to be working as like a guy that gets naked for a living. Like even mm-hmm. then they're just like, mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. Like, I actually don't think I ever told my parents I was actually a butler in the buff. I think I told them I was just, uh, I can't remember, but I definitely didn't tell them that. <laughs> I, I don't know what I said to them, but I, I 1 million percent didn't tell them that. Yeah. 1 million percent. <laughs> 1 million percent. Or they would have gone mad. I don't think, well, I'm assuming they may have gone mad, but I just don't think it would have been a conversation I wanted to have. Oh yeah, definitely not. You know? I remember telling my parents, cause my, only because my mom was on me to be getting a job. Mm. And I was yeah. like, yeah, cool. Well, I finally got a job, mm. so leave it. And I also think, sorry to cut you off about this whole original story, but I also think the reason why I didn't tell him is because I think, I think when we were doing Butler and Bruff, was I working at Hush as well? Or like doing something else? As no. Well? No. It was ah. just that you didn't start working till Hush until after I'd left Butler and Bruff. Mm, okay. Say no more then. I can't remember what I said to them. But anyway, back to the point. Yeah. So, um, oh, fucking hell. Um, yeah. I never had to deal with that level <clears throat> of threat mm. in that if I was to go to my mum, Say like, oh, mum, I want to go live with X mm. at uni. Mm. For her to be like, no, I don't want you to do that. And for me to be like, okay, I understand that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Mm-hmm. For her to come back and be like, cool. Well, you won't have a yard to come back to when you're done with uni then. Like I've never had mm. to deal with that level of like, I'm doing this. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Cool. Well, you don't have a family anymore. Yeah. So don't try it. Mm. I've never had to deal with that. Mm. Um, so whenever you like tell me stories or any of you man tell me stories or any of my friends tell me stories and stuff like that, or when I deal with this guy, mm. when he's like, my dad's Nigerian, he's just not going to have it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like for me, a lot of time it's like, yeah, but who gives a fuck if your dad has it? Yeah. But then I realize like, oh, man will fully kick you out. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> That's crazy to me. Bro. Because of nuts. what you want to do at uni. Mm. That's nothing to do with the house. I want to live with my girlfriend at uni. No. What do you mean no? It has nothing to do with you. Yeah. I just said no. Well, I'm doing it anyway. You ain't got a yard anymore. <laughs> and you ain't got money in your bank. How about that? You want to live with Shanice? Stay there. <laughs> That's all they'll say. They'll say stay there. That's all they'll nah, say. Nah, fam. It's not fair. I'm an adult. Let me are do you? what I want to do. Are you? <laughs> That's what you look, you look down at me. Are you? Yeah, adult. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> fam, you man go through it. <laughs> you think you pay these bills? <laughs> you man go through it. Bro, ski. Every other message is Nigerian this and that, that. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous, bro. Bro, it's the life we live. Oh. The game is the game, man. That's, that's it the, is the game. The dice we rolled. Fucking hell. Um, right. In terms of advice, yeah. It sounds like I got it right. You need to pattern a fake yard. You have to pattern a fake sign. People lie about shit in uni all the time. All the time, bro. All the time. I, um, <clears throat> I remember when I first got to uni, same again. See, my mom was on about jobs, bro. Mm. Oh my God, she was on my back about jobs when I left at home. Mm. She was on my back. Every summer I came back, I had to get jobs. straight. My mom was mm. on it about jobs. Mm. I've got the itchiest nose of all time. Oh my God. Sorry. Um, she was on at me about jobs all the fucking time. And um, I remember when I got to uni, she was on at me and, and I lied. And I was like, bro, I've dropped my CV off to 2,000 places. I remember you said this on here before as well. Bro, I, I dropped my that, yeah. CV. I said, hold on, I've dropped my CV off. I think I dropped my CV off like three places. Yeah. And I was like, I'm not bad. This is first year. It was my Blue Ink days, isn't it? Yeah, you got a job at Blue Ink. Like that. Like that. I remember I intentionally didn't tell her that you got a job. <laughs> so I'm not dealing with it. I just can't be bothered, man. <laughs> of course The thing not. is, it's just like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> ugh, I don't want one. <laughs> and there was nothing about your work at Blue Ink that intrigued me. Of course not. Until you <clears throat> said you had like a Christmas party or something. Mm. And then I was oh, a bit yeah. like, oh! <laughs> you man came to that, innit? I didn't come. Nah. I didn't come. Where was it at? Um, Lava Ignite went up a hundred percent. I think I didn't come. Oh, Rem was there for sure. Someone was there because I remember was you there telling me. Sure. I remember you telling me about it. Rem was there for sure. Yeah, 
I'm surprised I thought you were there. I but definitely Brett was wasn't there. there. I missed all the cool shit. Okay, okay. okay. Um, You're probably out. I was probably, at home. You went home, home every, every fucking weekend. weekend. That's why. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember. Um, so yeah, yeah. I uh yeah, I didn't come, but mm. I remember you telling me like, oh yeah, we had a Christmas party and stuff like that. And I remember thinking, fuck, that sounds fun. Mm. That's the only slither of anything mm. to do with you working that appealed to me yeah, was yeah, the yeah. Christmas party. Apart from that, I was like, fuck that, bro. <laughs> I remember you said you got a shift at whatever time. I was like, fuck that, man. Fuck that. I remember, <clears throat> I think I remember one night, um, this was the f- this was the first year of uni, working in Blue Ink. I watched, um, the first time I'd watched Paranormal Activity, the first one, scared the life out of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scared the living <laughs> family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could not sleep. This was what, 2000, when did we, when did we start you? 2009? Uh, 18, fresh 18, yeah, 2009. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could not see it was bear of us in one of i can't remember whose um, room it was in bear of us watching it paranormal activity couldn't sleep and i think i had a probably like a 10 6 that day fam i stayed up bro and probably kept for like two hours because i i was like looking around bro <laughs> looking around for hours <laughs> i was a ghost on shift nah i wanted to sleep at every opportunity 10 bro. 6 something stupid like that i knew it was an early shift and i finished like mid-evening oh. i was like Fuck, i don't know how i'm gonna do it Bro, I remember. Don't know how I'm gonna do it. I think the only proper job I had, it wasn't mm. even a proper job. So, what jobs did I have at uni? I had butlers in the buff. Mm. I had. You had Hush? I didn't work at Hush. No, I worked sorry, at the Hub. I worked at the Hub. Yeah. And I worked at Marks and Spencer's. I don't remember that. Christmas Tempting. It was dead. I don't remember. Marks and Spencer's was the only like proper job. Mm. Working at the Hub obviously got sacked. Yeah. Yeah. We all know that. Yeah. Um, but working at my suspense was a Christmas tempting. I needed the money. And um, I remember working there and they made me work on the till in the fucking women's department. Do you know how many clothes women return, fam? <laughs> Do you have any idea how many clothes women return? It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it is stupid. <laughs> Half the shit I was dealing with was returns. Oh, wow. And I remember thinking, you, man, I take in the piss. <laughs> and then sometimes if I wasn't on the till, they would just make me, they just pay you for dumb shit. Mm. They were like, oh, do you, you have one day where you just like, you just make sure shit is neat. Mm. And you just walk around and, and, and you just room, move yeah. like a, a yeah, rail yeah, like yeah. that. And you're just walking around trying to look busy for mm. hours and hours. Oh, God, it was fucking brutal. I know, bro. It was brutal, I man. Know, bro. And I remember there was one Don... That went to our year. He was in our year. I didn't know him until we started working there. Okay. But he would give me lifts. He was mm. cool. But he got to work in the cafe. So when you when you actually got the mm. job, that for the Christmas temp job, there was no assigned you didn't apply for a certain oh, role area. or whatever. Yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. like worker. Tank, yeah. And then once once you got the job, they bang, they're delegate. Like, here, 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 and then he yeah, I remember yeah, he yeah. got to work in the cafe. Mm. It sounded sick, bro. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, it sounded sick. <laughs> and I was just thinking, fuck. He sounded like he just had so much fun all the yeah. time. And I was just in the, down there the folding clothes and moving little fucking racks and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. And I remember I had to work on Boxing Day at 5 a.m. Tough. 5 a.m. on Boxing Day. Start of January sales was on Boxing Day, Tough. which meant I had to spend Christmas alone in Coventry because I had to get up for work at five the next I day. I remember this, bro. It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. First year? No, 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 no. This was... Grafton, third year. Really? Third year. I do not remember this. Yeah, bro. And I used to have to get the... And it was the fucking Marks and Spencers at the um, at the arena. At the Rico, Rico arena. arena. I had to get the bus there. Nah, dead that. Bro, dead it was shit. That. I hated it there. Dead that. I hated it there, but I knew I couldn't get sacked. Yeah. I knew I couldn't get sacked. I just couldn't. I can't remember what situation I was in mm. in my life, but I couldn't, I couldn't let my mom know I got sacked. I just couldn't. And I had to work there. And oh, I remember getting there on the boxing day. I think actually, no, because it was a Christmas temp job. I think the boxing day was my last ever shift there. Okay. Well, even if it wasn't planned, it definitely yeah, was my it, last shift. I didn't yeah. go back after that. Yeah. I didn't go back after that. Yeah. Um, but bro, I remember waking up. I remember being there. And because the heating hadn't been on in our yard for the whole Christmas break, mm. which at uni is like a month. Mm. The whole heat, the heat hadn't been on in weeks, bro. Mm. So when I got in the yard, fucking freezing. Three story yard. Yeah. No one's been in there for weeks. Uh, fucking free. dead of December, mid December. Sorry, bro. Bro, fucking freezing. I can imagine. 
Fucking I can freezer. Imagine. No food in the gaff. All shops closed. All shops closed, bro. <clears throat> Fucking freezing. Wow. Freezing. And I was just thinking, this ain't life. And that was my first ever like real shit job experience. Mm. Not shit job experience, but like I'd had other jobs before that. Like I'd even work in houses, warehouses before that. Mm-hmm. And I'd work in it. But that was like one of the first like experiences where I was like, Whoa, wow. Just the concept of having a job is shit. Yeah. Like, just the fact that someone's going to tell me, you need to be here at 5 a.m. tomorrow. Mm. Just that alone, to me, was just like, this is baffling to me. Yeah, it's far-fetched. Why? Yeah. Why do I need to be there? Yeah. At 5 o'clock in the morning. And I remember when I got there for my shift, some bitch asked me to do some shit, and I was doing it. And then, mm. like, five minutes later, it was like a two-hour job. She came back five minutes later, like, are you not done yet? And I was like, excuse me? I'd never even met her before. <laughs> and I've been working there for like a month. Yeah. And she's like, are you not fucking done yet? And I was like... It's five in the morning. I was thinking, I'm walking out. I remember every half an hour, I was like, I'm walking out. I'm walking out. I'm not making it to the end of the shift. I'm walking out. <laughs> Fear that I was livid. I can imagine. I was livid. I can imagine. That sounds I like hell. I fucking hated it there. That sounds like hell, bro. Absolute hell. Bro, it was so shit. Christmas temp. They use and abuse Christmas temps. Bro. They use and abuse <laughs> Christmas temps. No one remembered my name. <laughs> Let them give a the fuck about The whole time I was are. there, no one remembered my name. And you think you've got a job now. Mm. You think you're secure now. Mm. They don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> Hurry up and get out. Bro. Oh, I hated it there. Jesus. I seriously hate How I made it through the whole contract. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to come back after Boxing Day, but I definitely mm. didn't. I definitely didn't. I remember. Were you the only one staying at yard? Did we all go back yard? Like to our yard, respective yards, and you were stayed. You stayed yeah, yeah everyone there. back to London, Birmingham, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I came back. I spent Christmas morning with my family, mm. then came back to Coventry. Dead all of that for Christmas evening. Um, I did bring obviously. I did bring my girlfriend at the time. Okay, but we came back to the yard, freezing cold. No food. Nothing. No food. Went to bed, freezing cold, and when my alarm went off in the morning. Big man, I don't know how I got out of bed. Freezing cold. And I remember thinking, I'm done. <laughs> like your light goes off in your head. You're like, I'm done. I'm, done. Like, <laughs> I'm not going. And you can't make me. I was definitely late because I was thinking, oh, because I remember I bought my car. I drove back. Okay. I drove back that time. Okay, okay. So I didn't have to get the bus the next <clears throat> okay. day. So I could really stretch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was like, I'm done. Mm. I'm not coming. I'm not doing this today. <laughs> Bro, my alarm went off at like four. And I was like, nah, man. <laughs> four o'clock on Boxing Day. Wow. Human beings shouldn't have to be treated like no, this. Bro. And this is just a normal retail job. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how people are doing it. Bro, I don't know. Retail and retail, especially for like Christmas temps so or like Black Fridays or all that is hell on earth, bro. And hospitality, obviously, for like Christmas periods. Hell nah. on earth. Nah, fam. Hell on earth. It was an absolute nightmare. I remember oh. I had one bitch try and return like tights that she bought like a year ago. It's mugging it. And she didn't even have the receipt. <clears throat> mugging it. I was like, get out. <laughs> Sharon, get out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Bro, I re- this is a message to anyone who works retail. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck that. Get out. Now, you, why leave. You, why you can, bro? Bro, leave. <laughs> Go now. Get out. It's horrible there. Oh, bro. I've done both sides, bro. I've been in hospitality and I've been in retail. It's tough. All of you, man, escape. It's tough. Escape. Start a bakery or something. Do something else. Get out of there. Because mm. it's hell. Mm. Is. Oh, fam, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's not on. It really wasn't, man. It's not. It's tough, man. It's very tough. Fuck. <sighs> I anyway. Hope, I hope you answered your question anyway. Yeah, bro, you got to lie. You have to. There's if you no want to keep everyone out. happy, you got to lie, man. You have to lie. But yeah. Say la vie. Right, guys. Love, 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 love. Gang, 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 gang. See you on Thursday. Bless. Bless.